Good evening. I'm Father Charlie Mayer, acting priest in charge of the Grace Episcopal Church in Ossining. Welcome to our service of Compline for this evening, which is found on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we turn now to page 131 for Psalm 134. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we read our scripture for this evening. It is two short verses from the third chapter of the book of Revelation. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. It's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen again. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I think this captures so clearly the experience of the church today. Not only our parish, but I think the larger church very often has this sense of having so little power. You know, there's such an enormous uphill battle before us. We still are in the throes of the pandemic, though, as you know, I am hopeful about the directions of things in, in that regard. But climate change, the ever-widening gap between rich and poor, the terrible scourge of homelessness, gun violence, the refugee crises happening all over the globe, and so much more. It's natural for us to feel quite powerless in the face of these things. But 
John, in the book of Revelation, is saying very clearly, I have extended an open door to you and I will not close it. I will bless the spirit that I have given you. Don't despair. Don't be afraid. Don't feel powerless. Because at the end of the day, the power of the Spirit belongs to you. It's such a wonderful message. It's so um, pertinent in, in this moment. It's really who we are in Jesus. We're people who know that on our own, we do feel powerless. We are powerless. But that the power of the Spirit that God has gifted us with is ours. And that we are therefore part of the prevailing that is God's, that belongs to God, that will ultimately be realized by God. And during this Advent season, we look forward to God's prevailing and we rejoice that in some way we are indeed a part of that. Thanks be to God. Amen. We continue now in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue now in silent prayer. And now we pray our parish prayers for this Monday evening. For Faith, Betty, Karen, Bill, Aileen, Father Pridemore, Alicia, Kathleen, and Jean. For Teresa, Henry, Isaiah, Christine, Roger, Samantha, Dan, Catherine, and Anya. For Katrina, Tina, Rick, Dorothy, Frank, Barbara, Noel, Lydia, and Juan. For Marty, Jim, Leah, Melanie, Ali, Marco, Nils, Emily, Suzanne, Cecilia, 
Art, Min, Arthur, Bill, and Lisa. We pray for our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Pablo, and Anthony. And we pray for those who have died, especially Bill Cowan. Heavenly God, we are so thankful to you for all of your blessings in our lives. We thank you especially for the door you have opened for us, allowing the power of your Holy Spirit into our lives. And we thank you for the assurance that that power is with us, however powerless we may feel. And we thank you for the knowledge that your will will be done and your purposes will be accomplished. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.